the new 2310 by Ranger. Not only do we have a new boat to introduce this year, 2010, we also have a brand new dealer in the Tampa Bay market, and that is the Family Boating Center off of Anderson Road. Uh, Paul and Greg and all the guys have been in that business for years. I've known Paul Knopp probably going close to 30 years, and uh, they're a fantastic dealer. They understand the sport. And, uh, and have a real passion for it. We're really excited about uh, aligning ourselves, Ranger Boats, with the Family Boating Center in Tampa. On the new 2310 that we've got here at the show, this is a brand new boat for us, a brand new bay boat. Uh, if you look at the boat from the side, we've gotten away from our traditional design. If you walk more towards the bow of the boat from the midship here, you've got a lot more flare in the 2310. Uh, the gunnels are slightly different. It goes from an 8 inch walk around gunnel and narrows up up here on the front deck. The front deck is raised. You've only got a 2 inch gunnel or tow rail all the way around the bow up here and it gives the boat an additional 9 inches of beam on the front deck. So you've got more storage, you've got more casting height, more visibility. Uh, anglers, especially uh, artificial lure anglers, are really going to like that. It's going to make pitching the sight fish really, really, really nice. Uh, the console is slightly different. The leaning post is radically different. All the, uh, if you look inside, all the consoles on a Ranger Bay boat have a tow inset. So you have a lot more, it's a lot more comfortable if you're in flops or if you're barefoot. A lot of uh, boats have a console that come down, it's static to the floor and you're constantly kicking that. So you've got a four inch inset right here. So you've got a lot more comfort designed into the boat. As well as the leaning post, uh, which is really nice. Again, more comfort, attention to detail. It's all about fishability. The boat sports a hundred inch beam, just like all the other Bay Rangers in its class, the 2410 as well. And something that we came out with last year in the 2410 was a closed transom design in the stern back here traditionally you're looking at a boat that's got a splash well center mounted where you, you can tilt the outboard forward and allow clearance and, and that's 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 an okay feature but it really robs the rear deck of additional fishing and angling space so with a closed transom with the transom going all the way across voiding out that splash well you've got a lot more area to fish from you don't have to worry about tripping in that splash well when you're bow anchored at a jetty a pass uh, any any area that you would bow anchor and fish off the stern so a closed transom on the 2310 uh, comes standard with a 12 inch bobs jack plate so you have clearance for your outboard and allows for better performance as well. Now, you've got a huge 33 gallon center mounted live well right in the rear deck. Jump up seats that are comfortable and offer security for your family. The leaning post also has storage for your batteries. We could get up here and show it to you. Traditionally, the, the batteries are forward in the console and they're all mounted in the leaning post about four feet further back. It allows for better performance, easier access. This door comes off so you can actually get in there and put your batteries in. The service guys absolutely lo love that feature. And then in the upper hatch, you've got all of your power switches, your circuit breakers, easy to get to, all kinds of storage as well. It's all about accessibility. Something that Ranger's really known for when you get in the cockpit of this boat, if you're a live bait enthusiast, you're going to have huge live wells, and of course there's pumps involved with these live wells. And getting to these pumps has always been a problem in most fishing boats, but right here are your sea valves, your inline pumps, and your inline strainers that are accessible. It's not a matter of are they ever going to get clogged, it's a matter of when. It's usually when you've got a tank full of greenies and the snook bites going off. So when these fill up with grass, you can just quickly unscrew them, dump that particulate matter and grass out, and you're right back to fishing without having to go catch more bait. Again, you've got wide 8-inch gunnels all the way around the boat, all the way to the forward deck. So you have true 360-degree fishability in a Ranger. And again, the raised front deck of this Ranger, if you're an artificial lure fisherman and it's all about sight fishing, now you can make a roll cast and you don't have to 
negotiate a high gunnel. So that's the thing that really sets this boat apart from its sister, the 2410. 2410's got a, more of a recess on the front, front bow. Uh, as well, in the front deck, you've also got a huge 20 gallon. Air block. Goodness gracious. Ranger makes pretty good seal on their boats. But you've got another 20 gallons of live well forward, so if you want to start anchor with your power pole, you don't want to walk all the way to that rear deck to get your bait, bring a couple scoops up, everybody's on the front deck catching those snook and redfish, and you've got access to bait in the forward station as well. Now you've got to have a place to put all those cast nets, you know, whether you're going to carry a bridge net, a flats net, an offshore net. Now you've got room for four or five cast nets right in the floor of this 2310. You can throw wet towels, flippers, whatever, the kids stuff, the toys, whatever, in that hatch and they're out of the way. Standard on a 2310 is probably the finest cooler available in today's market. You've got a 70 quart Yeti which is standard. It'll hold all the groceries and cold drinks and do that for four or five days in 90 degree Florida heat. Again, accessibility is a hallmark of a Ranger and sooner or later you're going to have to get inside this console and either install electronics, service them, get to something if it's a wash down pump or whatever. You have great accessibility to this Ranger console in the 2310. So come on down, see Paul and Greg and the guys at Family Boating Center. If you can't make the show, they're right on Anderson Avenue in uh, Tampa. Uh, just a few miles from the uh, from the veterans, a few miles from the airport, centrally located to St. Pete, Clearwater, and Tampa, and uh, I'm sure the guys will be glad to see you.